you can attach sequins or pearls or even rat tail cord using your pearl foot and using a flat lock stitch. So we're going to go ahead and work on attaching some pearls to our fabric. Now this is a loosely woven fabric so what you do need to do in that case is maybe add a little bit of backing. I have a, a wash away here but you could use a tear away. It just gives it a little more stability especially since we're putting these on on a bias. To attach the beads we're going to use a flat lock. It's a three thread. So We're going to use our left needle we're going to use our two loopers and the settings for these are a little bit different. We're going to change our lower looper setting to a tension of six and we're going to put the upper looper at about three and then the needle tension is going to be at two and the reason is we need these to lay flat when we pull this. These are the beads that we're going to use and what I like to do is drop my needle down make sure you've chained off a little bit and then bring the beads through and underneath the little guide in the foot in the back and into the channel here and then that way you know that you've got them secured underneath drop your foot and hand turn the hand wheel towards you and catch the beads in the stitching then you know they're secured and bring your needle up to the uppermost position and let's begin um, attaching these when you use the bead foot you need to use the little adjustment and make sure that the material is just barely getting caught in the needle. So we're going to slide this under. We can use the backing since we've let it hang out a little bit to you know see if it's lining up. And there's a little guide on the bead foot that we're going to put the fabric into and I'm going to just turn the hand wheel to make sure that that is actually where it's supposed to be and if it's not I'm going to adjust the screw and move this so that my needle is just catching the fabric. When you sew the beads, you're going to want to hold the beads because even though they're secured, they're still kind of loose. And you're going to start off sewing very slowly to make sure that your needle isn't hitting the beads and to make sure that you're catching your fabric. And you're just going to go at a nice slow pace until everything gets moving. And just make sure that everything is feeding well through the machine. And when you come down towards the ends of your pearls, go ahead and clip these with the scissors and finish chaining off at a slow pace. With the flat lock stitch, what we can do is open this and we can lay these flat. And since I used washway backing, I could either cut this way or I could just let it wash out but that is what our flat lock stitch looks like when it's attaching beads. Now I did forget to tell you make sure your knife is done in this case because we're not cutting so we definitely don't want the knife up. So we're going to attach one more row of beads and then we're going to set this aside and we're going to move on to the next section of our project.